Hello. Um, I've watched my super, but I need glasses to see. I have some notes written on the paper. So I saw the Mason video. I'm a big fan and I've watched her stand up comedians. I was even going to watch her live once, but it didn't work. Um, this time I've been watching the TikTok um, in a different, you know, it was different. I was, things in my brain were like, I wasn't, I wasn't only laughing, I was thinking about the things really I've learned. So um, I was jotting down notes because before even reading the questions, because, you know, it's like everything I've learned is coming back to me or coming out. Uh, the first uh, thing is the two key takeaways. Um, the first one is um, the trust in parents uh, know their kids best. Um, we've we've discussed this a lot in class and uh, why we encourage why we encourage parents involvement because they know their kids the best because um, they they are consistent because they, uh, they, they, they have expectations for their children and they know them well and because children want, children want to please their parents and they, they, want, they work harder and they acquire skills through learning it with their parents also or their parents modeling or actually doing things at home and because um, they, 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 their, the parents understand their children well and they know how they learn. Um, the other thing that I took also, how the tap uh, dancing class acted as an occupational therapy. It's, uh, this is an example of inclusion. I'm very curious. I really wanted, I would, I would have loved to see, um, to see her learn how to tap dance. It's amazing. Especially that she says I'm, uh, I have 99, um, issues and Mr. Purple is one of them and um, she co she considers herself a tap dancer, actor and advocate so it's it's amazing. Um, the one thing that we discussed a little bit in class and I saw one of the slides that says siblings role and there's there isn't em em enough research about it. Me being as a mom with twins and uh, one of them is living with a condition uh, I see, I see the role of siblings, siblings, and it's very, very important. Um, it's one of the things that I thought about what we were learning. <clears throat> like when, when you have a child in your class, you should learn about his surroundings and his environment. Um, in another course, course, we were, we were, we were learning how to create, um, to learn about the background of the child. And this was a sequence of questions that we needed to ask about while we're observing a child. Um, it was very, it's, I, I feel it's very important to also know how many siblings there are in their house, uh, old or younger. In my son's case, uh, you see, like she said, I mop when my, my sister's mop, they got A's, I, I, I got A's too. It's, it's the role of the, the positive role they play around the house. Hopefully it's always positive. Uh, how did I connect uh, this video I watched to my learning? I said a lot. Like this time it was different. It was just, I was just laughing. I was just writing things down and thinking. That was awkward. So the first thing, the first connection was also the parents. Uh, in this case, parents are self-actualization as they accept and support. They don't view you different, better or worse for them. You know, they view the child, uh, they support, they advocate, and they encourage to ad they encourage and teach their kids to advocate for themselves. Um, the, the second thing is inclusion, um, how um, the tap dancing uh, should be included in the class. And I'm sure there's some things that the teacher um, supported her to actually um, succeed in this class. Um, Family-centered approach. I'm, I'm even more a believer now. I believe how important it is uh, to involve parents and to help them, to give them the tools and um, teach them. Although in in my son's case, her parents were were acting by themselves like this. Uh, so it's just you know it was an eye opener how important for us as educators to do that and to actually. Uh, do a family-centered approach. She had no, I, I don't know, I, from her, from me learning about her, and because I follow her, um, 
like even the professionals, the doctor that delivered her, she makes fun and she says he was drunk. So it's it's hilarious. But I mean, she didn't have really a professional people supporting her. She said her parents couldn't afford a vocational therapist, so the dancing classes acted as that. So um, it was it's for her. It was family. So it just you know highlighted more the importance of the family centered approach. Uh, embedded learning opportunities. Um, it's like um, it was all through her day. Like her parents, um, many examples. Like when her sisters mopped, she mopped like them. She was expected to do the same. The dancing classes she went to with her sisters. Uh, maximizing the opportunities is, <laughs> I guess, it's a funny example. But the dollar when he wanted her to follow the dollar to get it. It's a lot of things that she mentions how her parents um, did that all through the day. Um, I guess that's it. I have a lot more, but I mean, this is this is this is what struck me the quote the, the most. Um, it's it's um, it's a really really it's a great TED talk. Thank you for recommending it, um, and thank you for the fun classes and all the information I've learned. Um, I wish this was over so we can meet. I hope this will be over so we can meet. I can grab a cup. Grab a cup of coffee and pass by and chat. Uh, maybe bring my kiddos with me, my twins. Um, sorry about the last classes when I was cut off in and off because the, the house is noisy. So I put my headphones and went out for a walk and listened to your classes and my headphones were acting out. Um, I'm in the basement now because it's quiet here and I can focus. Um, thank you. And I hope we can meet soon when all of this is over.